The price we pay. Movie review. The price we pay, starring Gigi Zambato as Grace, Stephen Dorff as Cody, Emil Hirsch as Alex, Vernon Wells as Doctor, Erica Irvin as Jody, and Tanner Zagarino as Shane, was written by Christopher Jolly and directed by Ryuhi Kitamura. A group of robbers and their prisoner learned that the farmhouse they've sought sanctuary in is not at all what they expected it to be, leaving them with little choice but to fend off the owner's onslaught. Once more, director Kitamura turns to the well of tattered activities in isolated areas. The picture is set in a farmhouse this time, and that's about where the plot advancements end. A straightforward and profoundly unsatisfying option is to pay no attention at all. Following a trick, a streetwalker is abandoned at a lone gas station outside of town, according to the movie's plot. Someone shoots her with a tranquilizer dart and kidnaps her after she has glanced through the wallet that she stole from John. When Alex, Cody, and Alex's brother Shane raid the pawn store. Grace is in the process of haggling with the owner about payments she is unable to make. The business owner kills himself after shooting Shane in the leg. When the gunshots are heard, the getaway driver runs away. After convincing a worker to open the safe, Alex and Cody shoot the employee. The three robbers compel Grace, who witnessed the murders, to drive them away, but when her car breaks down, Robert Cody and Grace convince a young farmhand called Danny to let them stay in his farmhouse for a few hours while they wait for Cody's purported brother. Alex becomes concerned when Cody removes the bullet from Shane's leg and looks into what Danny is doing. Just before Danny's doctor grandfather and the towering Jody arrive home, he finds a hidden dungeon. The abducted streetwalker wakes up in the cellar and starts to leave, but she frightens Alex, who shoots her. He is taken by Jody when he is examining the body. Danny begs Cody and Grace not to harm Grace because she is not one of them as the doctor shoots Cody and Grace with tranquilizer darts. On the operation table, Shane is awake and distressed because his organs are exposed Alex wakes up next to him. While taking out Shane's heart, the doctor explains how his daughter was injured by wicked people like them and how his granddaughter Jody's lovely smile was marred and is now hidden by a bandage. He reveals that Alex killed her, ruining their haul for the evening, and that his organs were destroyed by drug use, but his eyeballs were still in good condition and were highly sought after on the illicit market. The surgeon then removes his eyes. Grace begs Danny to help her escape to another room, but Danny only assures her that her death won't be painful before attaching an four bag to the cannula in her arm vein and departing. As Jody enters the room and brings Cody to the operating room where Alex's eyes have been removed, Cody manages to move his operating table closer to hers in order to cut the four line flowing into her arm. Jody releases the straps tying Alex down and gives him a switchblade after the doctor decides she has no more use for him and permits her to take Alex to a different room to play. She easily defeats him when he tries to attack her, slitting his throat. Danny moves the tray of medical supplies closer to Grace so she can take a knife and cut the straps holding her down as the doctor cuts open Cody to extract his organs. When the doctor is attacked, he tumbles upon her and gets bit by Cody. When Grace breaks open a canister of compressed gas, the doctor's skull is blown apart and he is pushed into the wall. 
Jody comes back, but Danny shuts her out. Danny and Grace fasten Cody's back shut with staples. Cody asks Grace to give him an adrenaline injection before telling Danny to help Grace flee and promising to buy them some time. Jody comes back and murders Cody after a brief struggle as Grace and Danny flee through a gap in the walls. Grace shoots Jody after she reaches through the wall and grabs her, causing her to lose her electrified bat. As they climb a ladder to safety, Danny seizes the bat and rams it into Jody's stomach, causing her to fall to the ground. They cover Jody with a dissolving solution from one of the nearby barrels when she tries to follow. Jody keeps after them despite being shot many times with tranquilizer darts by Danny. Jody, who is furious, attempts to kill Danny, but Grace covers her face with barbed wire from the neighboring fence, and Danny activates a machine to tighten the wire while she yells, Brother! Jody's head is severed from her body by barbed wire when Grace cuts her with a sigh. Danny inquires, where do we go from here? As Grace and Danny board the doctor's truck. Grace answers, no clue. Want to know more? The two survivors then leave the farmhouse via car.